hey hoes welcome back to my channel welcome to my channel if you're new here okay so i'm actually really excited for today's video today's video i'm gonna be following someone someone's else someone else's makeup look that person her name is siobhan i don't know if you guys know her or not but like you guys should check her out she's amazing like i love her videos like i'm obsessed with her and her videos Okay, so I'm still trying to figure out what type of intro I want to be doing. I can never think of an intro. Today, I'm going to be doing my go-to look, which is literally the only makeup look I know because I'm scared of working with color. So I'm going to be doing my go-to look, which I've been using for the past three years. It's really simple, really basic. I'm no makeup guru or makeup artist, so Damn. don't come at me for the way have this I do thing it. Come. So let's Both of us are not makeup gurus or makeup artists. So. Mind the pimp. Mind the pimps first i'm going to do my brows so let's do it i don't really know what brushes i have i just get donated hand-me-down brushes from my younger sister because i've never invested money into brushes i have improved in the way i do my face i used to be not the best at how i do my face oh wow oh wow i look terrible First, I like brush up my brows. While I do my brows, I think I might discuss a bit about me. I get a lot of questions. People saying, are you Middle Eastern? Are you like Arab? <laughs> Just want to clear those rumors up. I am half Lebanese and I'm half Croatian. My mum is Croatian and my dad is Lebanese. My dad was born there, but funny story he never taught me how to speak arabic so i don't really know how to speak arabic i don't really understand it which is really sad because every middle eastern person can speak it other than me it's a bit embarrassing when like aunties and grandparents friends come up to you and start speaking in a different language they're just like i don't understand so my brows they're supposed to be sisters not twins but mine are like fourth generation cousins i've been trying <laughs> to get them to be at least sisters they just want to be cousins over the years my eyebrows have been many different shapes and sizes so i've had really thin eyebrows i've had really thick eyebrows it took a good four years i'm glad that it took what it took because you live and you learn you know now i look stupid okay first of all she starts with her eyebrows thank god because i can't handle doing my face first before doing my eyebrows now her eyebrows are like really thin and not really thin but like they're thinner and better than mine like mine is just like bushy and like full like don't mind my eyebrows right now but like um i haven't touched them in like three weeks i don't know why also have this scar going on in my left eyebrow so i can't do anything to it right now like i'm waiting for this scar to heal so i can you know do my eyebrows anyway so i'm gonna do my eyebrows off camera i'm so sorry i don't know how to do eyebrows in front of camera because i just don't know how anyways i'm gonna do my eyebrows off camera and i'm gonna be right back Okay, so I'm done with the eyebrows. I tried to make them as thin as possible. This is the outcome. Yeah, anyways, we're gonna move on with the video. Part of my go-to look is my ancient chocolate bar palette, which doesn't even close properly. That's all right, that's literally, I got this how many years ago? I don't know if it's off, I don't know if it expires. I don't know. Four years in counting. This is my holy grail, as they say, I think. But this one is my favorite. I literally use this on everything, even if it's just a natural eye look. As you can see, it's hip pan. I'm going to go and put this all over my eyes. I just put this in my crease. Every single makeup look I've done, like literally always has this color, always. Beautiful. Another side, now I look like got a rash. I'm terrible at doing makeup. I'm sorry if this wasn't up to your expectation, guys, but it is what it is. It is what it is. Next, 
I normally pull. It's called truffle. Apparently, you can eat these. I don't think you can actually eat them. When these first came out, everyone was like, oh my god, you can eat them. <sighs> so I tried some and that wasn't bad. 10 out of 10, would eat again. Well, they do smell good. It's a bit old, so I'm not gonna eat it. You don't eat it, but you like lick it and it tastes like chocolate. Next, I go in with the truffled color, which is darker brown. Put that like here and then blend that shit. So now I look like Hagrid. This is like. Okay. Okay, so the first palette that I'll be using is this Revolution palette. This is the Velvet Rose. And I'll be using this shade first using this brush. So I'm gonna put this all over my crease just like she did and I'm gonna blend it. Okay, now using the same palette, I'm gonna grab this color over here. This is number 13. With the same brush, and I'm gonna put it in the same place as she did. Honestly, this look is kind of familiar. Like the one I did on my sister. Like I did a makeup look on her that I uploaded on my YouTube channel. So I'm done with the first part of the eyeshadow. Why does it keep on falling? I don't understand. You know what? I need to get a tripod. Because this isn't working. It keeps on falling. I'm gonna go with the color called delicate and I'm gonna put that on my <laughs> So I'm gonna go with the color called delicate. Not delicate. Okay, so this is like how the eye should look by the end. Now I'm going to do my... Okay. Same palette. <laughs> I'm going to be using this color and I'm going to put it in the same place as she did. Okay, using a flat kind of brush. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, so I'm gonna do the other eye off camera and I'm gonna do wing eyeliner. I'm gonna be right back. Okay, so I did my eyeliner as thick as hers and they're not even the same, but whatever. We're gonna move on. Also notice. By the way, I use this eyeliner. This is the Essence Liquid Eyeliner. It is waterproof. Foundation. Also, fun fact, I ain't no stranger to the YouTube life. I actually used to have an animal YouTube account, which I post videos of how to breed animals. Get my beauty blend off. I just blend that shit out. If you guys did art, you'd know this technique. It's cool. So I noticed she didn't moisturize. Maybe she did it before, but I'm gonna do moisturize my face because I'm not trying to break out. I mean, I already have enough pimples and acne scars. No need more. I'll be using this. Your good skin. Yeah, your good skin moisturizer. And honestly, this is really good. I totally recommend you guys to get it. It's amazing. Okay, so I'm skipping primer because she didn't prime. Anyways, I'm using this foundation. This is the Wycombe foundation in golden beige. I'm just gonna use one and a half pump. Now I'm grabbing this brush. I usually use it for concealer, but for today we're using it for foundation and I'm gonna put this all over my face. Just like she did. I forgot to wet my beauty blender, so I'm gonna do that and I'll be right back. Okay, so after everything's patted in. Okay. 
Okay, so um, I'm using this concealer. This is the Fit Me Concealer in the shade 20. And basically, I'm gonna put it in the same areas as she did. I'm going to bronze my cheeks to give it a bit of definition so I don't look like a potato. So I'm gonna just. She already has cheek bronze. You have your bronzing piece. It's actually really like good. It's like a potato. Them, it's just a one that looks nice. You really yeah, yeah, yeah. don't have any definition into my face. What's wrong with you? Can be attitude like that. I find it so hard not to make my face cakey when I do bronzer because I have like patchy skin. Like, can you say that? That's a patch. Why is it big? Oh, and a lot of people ask me about this ring. Yes. I'm okay, so I'm grabbing. Oops. So I'm grabbing this palette. This is the Anastasia palette that I had it for three years. That's why it looks like this. And I'm just gonna mix these three colors together and I'm gonna contour my face now or bronze okay so next step she did was blush which I did too this is the forever 52 germany blush it's baked blush and I grabbed this big ass brush and I just put like the tiniest bit onto my cheeks like the apple of my cheeks and onto my nose okay maybe i put way too much but it's fine i love blush i'll tell you guys what i hair that kind of looks cute so once that is done i'm gonna put my lashes on but i'm gonna put them off camera because i don't know what lashes i'm gonna use but i'll tell you guys what i end up putting on see you in a minute so i don't know how i managed to do this but i have two different freaking lashes on but yeah Okay, I'm gonna put lashes off camera and I'll be right back. So, put on some lashes. They're kind of big, but whatever. The lower lashes. Now I've got one eye lower one. I don't know what the hell it is. My apologies. Now I'm gonna do my lips. I feel like there's no harm in overlining your lips. I like overlining my lips, but not too much. I'm gonna overline this shit. The type of stuff I wanna do on this channel is gonna be like vlogs and stuff. Food vlogs, cause I love food. If you have any suggestions of what you would like me to do, let me know because I don't even know myself. But yeah, I think I wanna do like the food type of vlogs and just everyday vlogs. I wanna keep it raw. Okay, which one I want? <laughs> so that's how you catfish your lips. The secret is now moving on to the lips i'm using this soft contouring essence lip liner in going ready and i'm gonna line my lips with this color and yeah so yeah that's kind of the finished look i should have done this before but i didn't so now i'm doing it Okay, anyways, moving on to baking. Um, the only powder that I have is this Givenchy, which I stole from my mom. And I'm gonna bake under this area, under my cheeks. Okay, so I'm gonna let this sit on my face for a while and then I'm gonna wipe it up. Okay, time to move the baking. Wait, so this is the final look um hope you guys enjoyed this video um it literally took me two hours to record it. i don't know why anyways don't forget to subscribe and follow me on my social media which will be in the description box down below and also yeah see you guys next week